the try. And if ever a tackle created a try, Alistair, it was Scully's tackle on the big man coming through. What a tremendous tackle. Andy Harriman's 11th try. And let's see the tackle. Crunch, David Scully, what a tackle. And then Adebayo had the sense to pick the ball up, look for support, waited until Harriman got outside him and waited the pass perfectly. They're already celebrating England. Beal makes sure of the conversion. England are two converted tries clear of Fiji. It's Fiji 7, England 21. Les Cusworth, the coach, says, come on, concentrate. Yes, secure in possession from this kickoff is going to be vital for England. If they can do it and hang on to the ball, then victory could well be theirs. Serevi launches the ball high for England. Rod was underneath it. England know they must concentrate now. Don't give the ball away. This is Beale, a chip and chase for him. Rauluni, Billy Rauluni, held by Beale. Vonalangi, Vonalangi heads into the midfield. Sheesby comes in with the tackle. The ball clear again. Adi Bayou picks it up. Harriman's back there. The touch is found. And each second that goes by, England are celebrating. Derek Bevan's looking at his watch. One and a half minutes left. England on the verge of a famous victory, if they can hang on. Rosari can't hold it, Delalio goes through. He's held by Rambaka, but England hang on to the ball. Scully sends the ball infield to Beal, who kicks for touch long, and Fiji have to go back to take the throw in. That wastes a few more precious seconds. One minute left, England leading Fiji by 21 points to seven. A young England side, they weren't allowed to choose from the British Lions. They weren't allowed to choose from the Five Nations squad. But they give away a penalty. Fiji look as though they've conceded it. They're very slow about taking this tap penalty. And out it comes, Vonalangi. Vonalangi, what superb tackling from Sheesby. Inside to Vili Rauluni. Well, poor pass, and Beal goes in. The knock on by Vesi Rauluni. There's no rush for the England players now, is there? Derek Bevan looking at his watch, and Scully takes his time about putting it in. David Scully, one of the heroes, look at the tension on that bench, but they must know that England have won this tie and reached the final of the World Cup sevens. The kick from Beal, this is full time, and this is one for Harriman to chase again. Harriman against Serevi. <laughs> Harriman steps right over it, and Seru sets off towards the England line. Seru, but again, the tackle from Scully, this terrier-like scrum half, and that is the end of this tie, a famous victory for England. England have won by 21 points to seven. Andy Harriman celebrates, and England are in the final of the World Cup sevens. We are indeed, the lads have worked hard, one more step to go and uh, they've been fantastic, the commitment has been unbelievable, we look forward to a great final. To beat the number one seed Speedy, everybody's favourites. Uh, we've been strong and confident all tournaments and as I say, uh, we look forward to another great performance, fantastic 10-man effort, very proud of you them. You said you'd spring a few surprises, you certainly have today. We certainly have, we haven't finished yet. 100% effort, lots of tackling, lots of hard work, what more can I say? He's brilliant, well, super, great. super, fantastic. great hitting in the middle. We get at them, and every time they wanted to pass, we just hit them down, hit them down, and when we knew we had them, we just kicked it and made the space. Now for the cup, definitely, you're on. <laughs> They're up for the cup. I mean, we expected nothing from them. The director of coaching, John Rutherford, he said, "Hey, don't worry about the sevens. That's not too important." But here we are. England are in the final. Well, I don't think they would have agreed with Don Rutherford on. You know, don't expect anything from them. Um, they came here. They weren't given the preparation they would have liked, but you know, they were very keen to do well. There's a lot of talent there, young players, and it was brilliant from them. Harriman, 